So here's my Hugo culture bed, one of them. This is the very first Hugo culture bed that we decided to, I decided. My husband just did whatever I asked him to do. That I decided to build. Um, we had this canoe that's been sitting on our property ever since we bought it. So I... He asked me if I wanted to put it in my garden. He thought that would be pretty neat. And I said, wow, yeah, that's a great idea. And I had been listening to podcasts on Hugo Culture a while before we ended up moving out here and decided that, you know what? That might be a fabulous idea. My husband came across an article and just sent it to me not knowing what it was and not remembering that I had done a bunch of, uh, listened to a bunch of podcasts on various people doing Hugo culture beds. So Hugo culture bed is basically a bed that requires very little watering and very little fertilizer. And I will do a video on it a little bit more later on exactly how it is all built up. But this is what I have so far. And it's a very small Hugo culture big bed, but it is. And this bed has probably not been watered in mm, probably about three weeks. And so this is my one of my thyme plants. Um, you can kind of see a cilantro that came up from some seed that I had. This is originally was supposed to be a strawberry bed. And it probably still will be. But I just decided to grow, since I didn't have enough strawberries, to grow some, some other stuff. So this is kind of a little bit of an experiment. I grew some spinach to see how they would do over the winter. Some baby spinach. They seem to be doing good. They taste good. My five-year-old loves them, and that's good enough for me. I can feed my five-year-old off of spinach when we come out to the garden, and that's all he wants to do is eat spinach. Then, hey, I'm okay with that. Um, my strawberries, we shall see how they do come springtime. And this is my love. This is my parsley plant. I don't think I've ever had a parsley plant that tasted so good and got so big. And this is the one that I do have to water a little bit more often because when we put the holes into the canoe, we, uh, we had a cat that just wants to love on me right now. I'm sorry. Um... Say hi. Say hi, Kiki. This parsley has a sweetness to it that I've never tasted before and absolutely love in any parsley that I've ever grown. And it's huge. Maybe your parsley gets this big. I've never had a parsley this big, so I'm really excited over my parsley. And the best thing about it is I can come out here and pick it on a regular basis. And what I'll do, I'll chop it all up and then we will stick it on our a dining room table when we eat dinner and my family's free to you know add a little parsley on onto their meal um it's actually been a great way of adding some trace minerals into their diet without having to try and force them to eat anything i don't even have to sneak it in they just they pick it out of the bowl and they put it on their plate and like i said it's got a a really sweet taste to it and uh just very yummy. So I've got my boys eating it out of the garden and I've got them eating it from the dining room table. So anytime that can be accomplished for a mom, hey, we're just going to go with it. Um, I've got a lot of other stuff going on. I'm almost kind of embarrassed to show anything else that we've got going on here because it's not really going on. It's just kind of um, a progress as, as we can get it started. But We've got a couple trees that I have planted in here. I don't know if that's going to end up being a bad idea or if it ends up being a good idea. We get some pretty hot summers out here. And um, so I'm hoping that for some vegetables that can take a little bit of shade, that they might add some shade to those. This bed, we just kind of covered up because I'm not going to do anything with it. And I'm honestly, I'm just tired of coming out here for hours on day trying to pull weeds. Um, this has been our battle that we've been dealing with, and um, as you can see, and it seems like every time I till it or I do anything with it, 
we just get more and more stuff that the cows would love to eat. Although they're not allowed in here, so they can't eat it down. But here's my other Hugo culture bed. I've got a cat. Cat's playing everywhere in here. But um, this is the other one that we started, and we are actually starting one. If I can move a little faster over here, that we're just going to hi, kitty, kitty. Hi, sweetie. We're just getting started. And gosh, I love boys. And especially boys that love to dig because my 13 year old loves digging and he will dig these holes for me like there's no other. And he does a phenomenal job. So fortunately, this isn't a whole lot of rocks. It's some pretty good soil already. And we were able to dig a hole. So we're gonna put a lot of oak logs in there uh, shortly and we'll, we'll be showing you that. And then over here, is my which I first time ever trying to grow these I've got shallots growing right here all along um, they are we missed a week of watering um, but that's okay at least they can they need to dry out every time after I water them so um, we've got shallots growing and then on the other side of that little uh, fencing I've got uh, some garlic growing so hopefully these will overwinter very well and we'll be able to pick them for now I'm just kind of grabbing little strands for green onion from my shallots and um, using that in in different dishes that I need but anyways those are kind of the successes that we're having so far uh, time will tell. Spring will tell. I'll start planting this one in spring if you got any suggestions on things that I should plant. One thing I know that I want to do is I want to do a lot of companion planting and get some medicinals growing into my hugo culture beds because in a future video I am going to make um, a... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I can't think. I'm going to make extracts from some of my herbals. I like to grow chamomile. I've had success in growing chamomile and um, I would like to do more of that. I want to put some borage into those raised little planters around my my berries that are starting to grow and um, yeah there's just a lot of stuff I want to experiment with and do. So if you are interested in whole culture just keep checking at some point I'm gonna do a video on it and you can see the whole process of how to build your own Google culture bed thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you like our channel please subscribe or give us a like thanks bye